heart pumping and the blood vessels and circulation, right? <laughs> Have you heard of the pulmonary system? Yes. That's the lungs and your breathing pipes and trachea and, and all that. Have you heard of the GI system? Yes. Okay, that's the guts, right? The GI tract. And have you heard of the, the endocrine system? Yes. That's your hormones, right? Your thyroid hormones and, uh, and insulin hormones and all that. So there's a system called the endocannabinoid system. It's been there all along with all the other systems. I don't know if heard about it. <laughs> you know what? Us physicians, we've only heard about it the last few years. <laughs> So it's very interesting. We have an entire physiologic system that's been there all along. And what this system does is that it has receptors. You know what receptors are? Yeah. When hormones bind to it, it creates reactions and it causes uh, activities to happen. So this system called the endocannabinoid system was discovered actually in the 1990s. It was discovered because we were doing research to look for ways to document how marijuana was harmful. So we were looking for evidence, right? To, to document how, how marijuana could hurt somebody. And so what we did was we took the extracts out of the plant, uh, and you guys are familiar with THC and, and CBD and all the different extracts, right? Yeah. Some, some have, some have. And so this plant, right, this marijuana plant, in their plant, there are over 100 different, what I call, uh, you could call it ingredients, 100 different chemicals, right? We call it cannabinoids. And of the over 100 different cannabinoids in this one plant, there's only one one substance that makes you actually high. Anyone know what that's called? TAC. TAC. All right, smart audience. Is that from experience? Yeah. <laughs> so, so over 100 different substances in the plant, only one substance makes you high. It's called THC, right? THC, and it's actually a really long word. It is right there, tetrahydrocannabinol. Hit THC. And, and there are over 99 other substances in the plant that doesn't make you high, okay? The terms we use for these different substances are cannabinoids, and we track, we track the different uh, chemicals, and we see where these chemicals bind in your body. We look and see where did this bind to? Did it bind in the brain? Did it bind the GI tract? So we're doing these studies in the 90s to see where, where the plant affected the body. And we found out that you see all these dots? You got blue dots and uh, purple. Is this purple? It looks purple. You got blue dots and purple dots. And they're actually connected and, and they bind to everywhere in the body, not just in the brain. A lot of dots in the brains, but it goes down the spinal cord, a lot of us in the GI tract, right? So we found that the plant, the plant and the ingredients in the plant affects just about every organ of the body. GI tract, the kidneys, the heart, right? The pancreas, the brain. Which is why folks use medical marijuana for different reasons. Some use to stimulate their appetite, right? That's a GI effect. Some use it to help you sleep, right? That's, that's a brain effect. Some use it for joint pain, because we know, and we have documented the anti-inflammatory effects of CBD, right? And so we have these receptors in the body, and the two main receptors are the CD1 and the CB2 receptors that we have studied. There are more receptors that bind with the, the plant, Right? But the two main ones are these two here. Now, your body makes its own endocannabinoids, its own hormones, its, kind of its own marijuana internally that binds to these receptors. <laughs> and the whole function, the whole purpose of the endocannabinoid system, the whole reason this entire system exists 
is to create balance. Create balance in your system. And when there's too much inflammation, the endocannabinoid system, if it's functioning well, cools down the body. When there's lack of uh, nutrients, when you're starving, when you're not getting the nutrition you need, the endocannabinoid system stimulates hunger. Stimulates hunger. Anyone ever get hungry with marijuana? <laughs> you know that. That's how it works. That's how it works, right? How, this is how it stimulates. And your body's own endocannabinoid does this. It just so happens that there is a plant that stimulates the same receptor. That's the marijuana plant. Isn't that interesting? This one plant stimulates the entire system. Entire system.